Hello, I'm Scott Kondorsky, and I'm here to share the story of Trinka and Sam and the Swirling Twirling Wind with you. It's written by Chandra Mishiko Gosh Ippen and Melissa Primer. It's illustrated by Erich Ippen Jr. This is Trinko. And this is Sam. They are neighbors and they like to play together. In the spring, they run outside and welcome the flowers. And when it rains, they love to go puddle stomping. And they always listen when it's time to stop. Well, almost always. Come on, Sam. Coming. Trinka, let's go. Trinka, let's go. But it's so much fun. They were growing up and learning lots of things. Sam just started school. Trinka was too little for school. But her mom taught her the alphabet, and she played school with her dolls. Now, one sunny spring day, while Sam was in school and Trinko was playing outside, an army of clouds came marching in and the wind began to blow. Trinka's mom told her to come inside she said they would play games while they checked for news about the storm. Come inside, Trinka. There's a big storm coming. What does the TV say? They're telling us where the storm is so we'll know if it's close. Sam's teacher said that right now they were fine. But if the storm got close, they would follow the school's tornado plan, just like they had practiced before. A storm is coming, and there is a tornado watch in our area. If it gets close, the bell will ring and we will follow the school's emergency plan. The storm got bigger. The wind blew harder. Then came the boom, boom of the thunder and the crack, crack of the lightning. They had had storms before, but this one seemed bigger and closer. Trinka and her mom 
saw the weather reporter come on TV. Look, it's the weather reporter. Yes, we need to listen. Sam's teacher stood up in front of the class and made an announcement. Okay, class, the bell just went off. The storm is getting close. We need to go to our safe place. Let's line up. Outside, the sirens went off. It was loud and it was scary, but they needed to send the warning to everyone. Get to the safest place you can and wait while the storm passes. Everyone took cover. Trinka's mom was ready. They would go to the basement where they had supplies to wait out the storm. Let's go to the basement. We have blankets, food, and some of your favorite toys. We can play games while we wait. Okay, Mom. They brought their pet, Juju. Their neighbors, Piplo and Livy, and their parents came too, because they didn't have a basement. Mom, wait for Dad! Don't worry, Piplo, he's coming. Come on, Juju. It will be safer down here. There's plenty of room for all of us. Pippo was mad and crying. His dad was checking on their house and watching the storm. Piplo wanted to be with him. You need to stay down here. It's not safe for children. He'll be here in a minute. But Dad's up there. I want to be with him. Eventually, his dad came and they shut the storm door. Sorry, Piplo. I had to close up our house. I brought your helmets just in case things fall down, and I brought our radio so we can listen to the news. Great idea. Come on, let's play some games. At school, Sam's teachers led the children to the bathroom. A room with no windows in the middle of the building was the best place in the school to wait out the storm. Thank you for walking so calmly. We'll wait out the storm in here. Some children wanted to play with the water, but they couldn't. They sat in a circle and the teacher read a story. Come sit down. Let's read a story. Trinka and Sam waited. All the kids waited. It was hard to wait, but the kids did a good job listening. The grown-ups were trying to keep the kids safe and make the waiting as fun as possible.
Do you have any eights? Go fish! They had done this before. Usually the storm would pass and nothing bad would happen. But this time was different. This time the news reporters said a tornado had touched down and was going right through their town. How do they know the tornado is coming? The weather people can track the path of the tornado with special instruments. The news reporters were right. This time the tornado went right through Little Town. When it did, the lights went out in the basement. Trinka was scared and she hugged her mom. Piplo's family hugged too. We're safe in the basement. We'll be okay. We can make shadow puppets. It's okay. We have flashlights. At school, the children heard the howl of the wind and a loud crash. Sam and his friends looked up and saw that the wind had ripped a part of the roof. They were so scared, they huddled on the floor with their teachers. We'll be okay. We'll stay on this side where it's safer. Sam wanted his mom and dad. Some kids were crying. They held hands and their teachers said comforting words and sang a song. Their teachers were trying to keep them safe and calm. Things will get better. Your parents will be here soon. It's okay. We are all together. Let's hold hands. It seemed like a really long time. But after a while, it was quiet. They didn't hear the wind. The sirens stopped their loud wail. Piplo's parents checked the radio. A teacher came into the bathroom to make an announcement. The tornado had passed. It was all over. They were safe. It is safe to come out. Little town is all clear. The storm has passed. Trinka's mom went upstairs. The tornado was over, but it was sad to see the damage it had done. The windows were broken and the house was topsy-turvy. When they looked across the street, they saw that Piplo's house was wrecked. Piplo's family was crying. They were so sad to have lost their house, their toys, and all their belongings, but they were also so glad that everyone was safe. Piplo, things can be replaced. The important thing is that we are all safe and we are all together. We never knew it could be this bad. We are so glad we stayed with you. It was very strange that Trinka's house was okay, but Piplo's house was not. But this is what tornadoes sometimes do. Trinka's mom said that they had just been lucky. 
Piplo's family could stay with them while they decided what to do. We will clear out a room so that you can stay with us while you decide what to do. We couldn't do that! We are neighbors and it could have been us staying with you if things had been different. At school, the teachers said that even though the tornado was over, their building was not safe because it had been hurt by the tornado. They would go down the street to a safer building and they would wait for their parents there. They lined up like they practiced in the drill and followed their teachers. As they walked down the street, Sam saw what the tornado had done. He was mad at the tornado. It had hurt his school and messed up his town. When they got to the other building, they waited for their parents to pick them up. Their teachers said that their parents knew where they were. They sat in a circle and read a story. Sam tried hard to listen. He wanted his mom and dad to come soon. It was hard to wait. After a long time, Sam's dad came. Sam was mad. Why didn't you come sooner? It was hard to get to your school. I had to get your little brother. Sam was also worried about his mom. Why wasn't she there? Where's mom? Mom will meet us at home. His dad took him home. There was a lot of traffic, and on the way, Sam saw many strange things that the tornado had done. He saw cars turned upside down, strange looking trees with clothing hanging where the leaves should be, and a land full of junk where houses once stood. They also saw people who were hurt. And they saw people helping other people. When they got to their house, Sam ran to hug his mom. Trinka saw Sam and went outside. She was glad he was okay he was happy to see her, too. They were both lucky. Their houses were on the side of the street that the tornado barely touched. Their families helped their neighbors. They helped them find some of their things. They gave them hugs. They made sure they had clothes and a place to stay while they figured out what they would do. After the tornado, it was hard. The playground was gone. Some stores they loved closed. Because Sam's school was damaged, he had to go to another school. Some of his friends went with him, but others went to another school. He missed them. 
Why can't I go there anymore? They're going to fix it, but for a while, you'll go to another school. Piplo's family decided to go to the big city to live with Piplo's grandparents, at least for a while. Trinka and Sam missed him. The tornado was over, but life was not the same yet. Sometimes Sam would wake up scared. His dad would hug and cuddle him. He knew how scary the tornado had been. And he knew Sam needed a little extra loving right now. Daddy, I had a bad dream. It's okay. It was just a dream. You are safe. Even with the extra love, Sam did not feel the same. He felt mad. He felt cranky. Sometimes it seemed as though he had a tornado in his belly. He didn't behave right and he didn't know why. He took his brother's toy. He slammed the door. He didn't listen to his daddy. Trinka's mom saw that Trinka was also not the same. She cried more. She got scared a lot. She was afraid to be alone and would cling to her mom. She didn't like the rain. She also had problems listening, especially at night. She didn't want to go to bed. And everyone, even baby Livy, and their pet Juju seemed to notice and get worried when the weather changed and the storm clouds rolled in. They would run to ch and check the news. The weather reporter would say it was just a normal storm, no tornado watch. The clouds made their stomachs feel like the tornado was inside them. Chinka's mom understood Sam's dad understood. Even though the tornado was over, it would take a while before a little town was fixed. It would take time until they all felt calm and safe inside. Mommy! I am not going to school! Sam's dad talked to him. Trinka's mom talked to her. The tornado was scary. It scared all of us. And there have been so many changes in our lives because of the tornado. It is hard, but we are together. I know it was scary for you at school. I wish I could have been there to hold you and keep you safe. I know you worry about tornadoes. This was a really bad one. Our family had a really good plan and we followed it. This helped us stay safe. They spent time together as a family. They tried to get back to old routines 
and to start fun new ones. Trinka and Sam often needed hugs and lots of patience, and their parents were there for them. It would take a while. They would plant new trees and paint the old ones. They would build birdhouses. The birds are gonna like this. We're giving them a new home. The school and house would be put back together. They would work together to fix the playground. They would rebuild Little Town. And eventually, they would all go out to play. 